the Democratic Republic of Congo. Experts believe South African forces may fail in DRC mission. With the United Nations Organization Stabilization Mission, MINUSCO, gradually leaving the DRC after a failed 20-year peacekeeping mission and the East African Community Regional Force having just left with his tail between his legs after a less than one-year peacekeeping mission, troops from the Southern African Development Community, SADAC, led by the South African military, will try to finally bring peace and security to Eastern DRC, a region plagued by more than 100 insurgencies, particularly the M23, which is purportedly supported by neighboring Rwanda. Security specialist Thomas Mandrup gave his sobering opinion of the South African military's chances of leading a successful peacekeeping mission in Eastern DRC during an interview with The Conversation, the content of which is shared in this article. The Southern African Development Community Mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo, SAMI DRC, deployed to Eastern DRC on December 15, 2023. Because the insurgents have been operating in mineral-rich Eastern DRC for the past 20 years, they are familiar with the terrain and are part and parcel of the local communities. Thus, for SAMI DRC to be successful, it will need overwhelming troop presence close air support, robust intelligence, and special forces. SADAC internal documents, however, reveal that SADAC forces had difficulty defeating the Al Suna insurgents in Mozambique because they lacked the necessary capabilities. Mandrup seems to imply that SAMI DRC is likely to fail to bring peace and security in Eastern DRC like its predecessors because, quote, the South African National Defense Force is overstretched and underfunded and has been for a long time, unquote. The South African military is stretched thin on shrinking resources as the government uses it for domestic security missions like protecting the National Electric Company, ESCOM, or international peacekeeping missions in Mozambique and the DRC. Meanwhile, the South African military has only one operational C-130 transport aircraft, five remaining Oryx utility helicopters, and three remaining Roy Falk attack helicopters. Finally, Mandrup claims that the South African military is only at half strength, while the average age of a South African service member is 46.